Hi, welcome to Geeks of Rage. I'm Matt, and we're going to be playing Militant today. So let's just get this game started, and I'll talk you through it. So this is a game made by a company called Crystalite, Studios. the base of any economy in the um, insect based kingdom. In Latin America. The resources um, are in permanent dispute. Who commands this precious so element this is a will control video. the rest. It's, it's quite intense. Among the most powerful, tension. Um, we're going we're to just skip that. We don't need to watch that. If you buy the game, you can watch it. It's all about ants and termites and beetles and scorpions. Um, yeah, it's really good. So you're um, you're an ant. Here I am, an ant. I've got my little leafy helmet, my little ant antennas, and uh, got some leafy guns. <coughs> so this is your uh, on the face of it. This is your basic uh, side-scrolling um, platformer. Um, but there's a few little twists. Um, they describe it as two and a half D. Um, and they say the boss battles are supposed to be epic. Um, I can vouch they are. They're very, very good. Um, I've defeated one. The second one, no, not so much. Um, so I'll just talk you through the controls and, and, and uh, how it plays. I'm actually going to be using a uh, Xbox 360 controller. And most most games on Steam are actually already set up for Xbox 360 controllers and more than likely the Steam controller as well. Um, so you know your left stick, standard move forward, back, left, right, A to jump, A double A to double jump. Um, but now what's interesting, um, you have um, on your right stick. If you if you move that around, you see this laser beam here. Okay, you use this to lock onto enemies. Okay, once you locked it onto an enemy, it auto aims. It'll always shoot at that enemy. Okay, so you also have uh, things like dash. Okay, and you see up here in the top corner, that's your dash bar. Once that's used up, you can no longer dash. I think once it's fully charged, it's good for about three. Um, and you have your melee attack. You get your sort of ant knife out. Do some ant, ant slashing. Okay, so we're going to just double jump our way up here. And the game starts. So this little guy here. Smash dead. So the game's quite intense. Um, the, you know, at the, at the moment, obviously, you, you're just feeling your way through it. Um, when you shoot, you have to use both trigger buttons. And if you look down here in the bottom corner, my laser doesn't quite get there, but um, your gun heats up, and what you have to do is swap it. Okay, you use that with your bumper buttons. Swap. Swap, or you can press Y, and it swaps them both together. So you can be shooting the two together, swap them both. You can shoot one, shoot the other. But it, it can get quite intense on the controls. There's a lot of controls to get used to. Um, so I said this lock thing I was telling you about. Okay, he's got him now. So now how much jumping I do, it'll always point at him. And uh, the, the two and a half D element. Now, I mean, it's a side-scrolling platform. It's, uh, I mean, the graphics are quite three D. But here's the two and a half D element. You see this guy over here. He's on another platform. Where I can lock onto him and shoot him. There you go. I like the little splat noise it makes when they die. That's nice. That's nice. This little leafy thing here. This is uh This is life. This will heal you all all the way. Um, didn't obviously need it. There we go. This is a checkpoint. Get used to these. You're going to die a lot. You get infinity lives on this, but you know, it might not be enough. See, now the thing that gets difficult is you, you, you're trying to jump and shoot and dodge, and it can be quite difficult to do all that whilst trying to use this little thing to lock onto somebody. Standing on that guy there.
keep saying your combo thing keeps coming up the top. I don't know actually what you get for a combo, what what uh, what advantages it gives you. You just get one. Another checkpoint. I actually find the melee attack a lot more effective. You know, use it if you can. As the game goes on, the quantity of enemies just increases. So you're gonna have to learn to, uh, you know, let it go. Sometimes you don't have to shoot them all all of the time. You know, sometimes you'd be a lot better served. Now you see, you got this guy hanging up from the ceiling. So if you want to kill him, you have to lock on. The thing is, you can't actually because your uh, your right thumb, you need it for locking on and jumping. You can't lock on, jump, and shoot at the same time. See these little fellas when you kill them, you, they drop life. It's never a good sign when they zoom out. It means I can't get all the enemies onto this one small shot here, so I'm gonna have to zoom out. Oh, crap. Dead. Off the edge. You have to get used to dying a lot, I think, when you play this. Certainly to start with, before you, you know, once you get good at it. See that? I jumped and then he knocked me down. <coughs> so like I said, you try and kill everybody, you're gonna get unstuck, so easiest thing to do. You just run your ass through the level. Oh yeah, and they pop out of the ground a lot. handed to me a little bit here. So like I said, run your ass through the level. It works a lot better. Okay, so now we're in the boss fight. Okay, this big for here, this is the boss fight. Okay, so what's going to happen when we get in here? And I'm not moving in just yet because I don't want it to kick off immediately. But uh, you're going to get up here, you're going to get a guy that hangs down, he's going to shoot rows of three at you. Don't waste your time trying to shoot him. 
every time you kill him, another one will come and take its place. It, it, so it's, it's a pointless exercise. You get a little bit of health over here. Try and avoid it until you need it. And you're going to get some termites. Now, the termites, you're going to have to sort out before you fight the boss because you're going to need to run back and forth a lot. Um, so let's go and deal with those guys. Okay, so you just watch this, uh, their rows of three. So I've sorted out the termites, train your gun on the bad guy, and just keep pummeling away. Now the difficult thing here is you've got to dodge all the rows of three, plus all of this orange shit with, uh, with splash damage as well. called a roach tank. It's like playing Starship Troopers. Now I think you'd kind of hope that by the time that you used up half of your life you'd have used up half of his as well. A good tip is to use your uh, use your dash get from one side of the screen to the other as quick as possible. changing your weapons as you go along. Ah oh, man, dead. I was so close. Let's try again. You know, I think for a first level boss, this is quite harsh. Oh, actually, you think this is harsh, you should see the second level boss. Oh my god. quite so well on this go. Oh man, straight in the face. <clears throat> so you can see it's quite intense, it's quite difficult. Um, it's the kind of game you're going to have to put a lot of time into if you want to get through the levels, beat all the bosses, but you do feel a sense of achievement when you've done it. Um, so, th I mean, the price tag for this is about £6, about £6.99 on Steam. And I think for that, for that kind of money, it's well worth it. I think the splash damage is harsh. Really harsh. <laughs> oh, dead again. Come on. 
So, I mean, it is a good game. It's a lot of fun. This is actually the third time I've fought this guy. And it's great fun. Really enjoying it. <laughs> All right. Maybe a couple more goes, and then I'm gonna have to uh, throw in the towel on level one, boss. It's no good, is it? You can't be taking games advice from somebody that can't kill a level one boss. Come on, guys. <laughs> Oh yes! <laughs> Look at my life. It's almost gone. That was tense. That was really tense. And then we're on to level 2. Now you're going to play through level 2 and then you're going to come up a bit against uh, something even bigger with even more life that kicks your ass even more than this guy does. Whew. So, like I said, Shibulba Studios, this is actually only their second game. Um, the first game is called Icebreakers and it's a bit like um, Tron on Ice. You've played the Tron game where you've, uh, you're on a motorbike, you've got a, like a coloured stream behind you and you have to cut the other guy up. That's exactly what you're doing, but you're on a sledge and you're trailing ice. Um, it's a lot of fun, it's quite nice. Not nearly as good as this. This is really, really nice. Lots of fun to play. Um, and f f for the money, I'd absolutely recommend it. It's great fun. Great fun. Whew, so yeah, that's me. I hope you've enjoyed watching. And I really hope you go out and buy the game as well. On that note, we'll see you again soon. Make sure you check out some of the other videos. Um, check us out on Twitter, Geeks of Rage. Also look at the other videos on the channel. Ooh. I think I'm about to get my ass kicked again here. See, this is the thing. The review's over. I can't help myself. Alright, you know what? I'm going to pause the game. That's it. So that's me done for the day. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. And um, we'll just see you again soon. Goodbye.